sleek and they are clean, but are they problematic? Our investigative unit has been looking into BART's fleet of the future. That's having a persistent issue. A glitch in the braking system led to chronic delays throughout our rainy season. Investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken tells us that same glitch could well come back with a vengeance after an earthquake. Over the wet winter, BART experienced day after day of system meltdown traced to a built-in braking problem with its new fleet of the future trains. When sensors detect the wheels slipping on wet rails, the emergency brakes kick in to slow the train down and prevent accidents. But the new fleet's emergency brakes also grind spots on the wheels unevenly, causing what are called wheel flats, putting the entire train out of service. The delays are just par for the course at this point, and so I, I plan around it. While BART says its wet weather nightmare is largely over, at least until next winter, its braking problems aren't over with. Because the emergency braking system will be called on to stop trains quickly to protect passengers in a significant earthquake. It sounds like BART has a wholesale problem. Transportation consultant Jerry Cawthon is a five-decade veteran of the public transit sector. He says emergency braking shouldn't create its own emergency. You want to try to avoid that in a braking system. If they have a braking system that's got that problem, and then they've got to weigh whether it makes sense to replace it. Yet stopping the trains quickly is vital to BART providing a lifeline before and after a quake. Earthquake, earthquake. To make sure, BART is relying on Shake Alert, an early warning system of hundreds of seismic sensors managed by the U.S. Geological Survey. It detects precursor P waves before anyone feels the shaking, according to USGS's Robert DeGroote. BART hopes ShakeAlert will give at least 10 seconds to automatically shut down trains. Anything we can do to eke out even a fraction of a second is going to help because it will get them doing what they're doing sooner. Under ShakeAlert, speeds would be cut from 70 to 27 miles an hour using automatic normal braking. Then operators will be instructed to deploy the emergency brakes to make a complete stop if necessary. It's a life safety issue. BART board member John McPartland says the goal behind ShakeAlert is to ensure BART will be up and running almost immediately. When the streets are down, there's rubble in the streets and BART is running, we will have that capability. But BART officials acknowledge that if the emergency brakes damage all the wheels in their new fleet, they could have a slow recovery. Having wheel flats is not an ideal situation. BART spokesman Jim Allison says BART hoped the train maker would fix the issue when the agency stopped accepting new cars two years ago. But in the end, BART opted to renew shipments with the braking issues still unresolved. And overall, the new fleet of the future trains are much more reliable than the legacy fleet and we're confident in the new technology. As trade-offs go, is worth the price. McPartland says the flats due to emergency braking won't pose a safety risk. But riders may have to endure constant uncomfortable clunking from all the flat wheels. But if you're in a post-earthquake environment and you're trying to get from point A to point B, I got news for you. We can listen to the clunk. But riders will have to put up with more than just that clunking. They may well have to face a repeat of the kind of delays that happened this winter, as BART likely will have to slow speeds on its clunky trains to keep them rolling over the months it will take to repair all the wheels. Right now, new cars make up just over half of BART's fleet. The glitch will pose a bigger headache in two years when BART has phased out its old fleet, which has proven less vulnerable to damage from emergency braking. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News. Now, if you have a story for Jackson or anyone in our investigative unit, it's easy to contact them. You can reach them through 888-996-TIPS, or you can visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.